Hi, this is Paolo from the MB Academy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an old school liquid drum bass bass like the one in the track Wonder Why by Minos. So, this is the original. And this is our recreation. But before we get started, only 50% of people who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking one of our videos and find it useful, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps us build more free content for you in the future. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the process for this bass is really simple. We basically need a sub and then find a way to add harmonics into it to get the cool tonality. So for that, we're gonna begin with a sine wave by loading the basic shapes wave table and we should get just a sub. And next we're gonna head into the wavetable editor. We're gonna click on this button to translate the harmonics from this sine wave into this window. And here we're gonna see bin number one, two, three, four, etc. And these numbers multiply the fundamental frequency by this whole number. So for example, if my fundamental frequency is 40, here at bin number one, if I place one harmonic here and in the 10, I will get 440 hertz because it's multiplying the original frequency by 10. So in this base, the harmonic that we need is found in bin number six. You can try other harmonics. And you can even mix those, which is pretty cool. For now, we're gonna keep it simple and place the harmonic on the bin number 6 at 45%. And then we're going to add an LFO into the level and create that movement. So for that, we're going to set it on trigger, remove the BPM function, and experiment with the rate. We also need to layer in a sub boost the level so we have a stronger fundamental next let's go into the distortion but select soft clip and boost just a little bit the drive just like that then we're gonna add a chorus but we don't want the chorus to affect the sub, so we need to change it from a low pass filter to a high pass filter by clicking on this button right here, and then set it at around 300 hertz, which is gonna leave this effect only on the upper harmonic. And next we're gonna add a compressor and boost the gain. And now we got a pretty powerful sub. So now if we listen to this in context. We get that sound. And again, you can experiment with the different harmonics here. You can change it from a 6 to a 4. Or to an 8. Which is also really cool. But the sound is on 6. And so that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Join our Discord because we have an awesome community all about drum based production. Follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.